nafe ba musalanga tulaba ne ba mukanyugebwe persistent reports of torture of Ugandan seeking jobs there as well as those dying abroad under unclear circumstances and the challenges of returning bodies of those who die abroad have prompted some action According to the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Agri Chivenge, the government is in talks with Middle East countries to resolve the concerns. We have had a number of bilateral discussions. We are following this up with actions to put in place a joint technical committee uh, from both our side and the destination countries. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, we are supposed to do the same with Qatar so that we have a continuous monitoring mechanism. He adds that government is also planning to be strict on companies that export more Ugandans than a foreign company has ordered for at a particular time. This follows concerns that Ugandans who are kept redundant for some time before they are secured jobs end up having their rights violated. And in that process of waiting, a lot of issues arise. And it can be a reason also for us suspending the license of that company. If we cleared 100 and you took 200 or 300, we can. Chivenge says the biggest challenge comes from Ugandans who end up in the Middle East countries through improper channels and the outcomes have tarnished the image of legitimate labor export companies and the entire industry. A good number of these travel on visitors' visas. And when they get there, those visas have a time frame and they expire. Those fellows normally go underground. And even when they have problems with the people who take them, they cannot report to the embassy, they cannot report to the authorities in those destination countries because they are there illegally. Chiweng also warned companies that defy their obligations to train and orient Ugandans before they are taken to work abroad, as this is not in accordance with the regulations in place. Training was not done, orientation was not done, because the company that was responsible for it the training report for purposes of being clear. Now when we get these kind of reports, we will certainly take action on that company and we suspend those companies. However, he assured Ugandans that the situation is being handled at government to government level. Government will also insist on ensuring that there is constant communication between Ugandans abroad and their relatives in Uganda. Especially in respect of having access to a form or any form of communication that enables us to continuously track them and respond to their appeals when they make them. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.